Have you ever been curious about the extravagant lifestyles led by some of the wealthiest monarchs worldwide? Join us as we explore the lavish life of Saudi Prince Salman, delving into what true luxury entails. From private jets to custom-made islands, Prince Salman's possessions are so lavish, they're beyond what most can even dream of. Ready to peek into a world where wallets know no bounds? Within a domain where the concept of riches is boundless, Prince Salman is distinguished by his holdings which exemplify the epitome of opulence. Think owning the most expensive things in the world. Now stop imagining and see for yourself how Saudi's Prince Salman lives this reality every day. Henry David Thoreau once mentioned, wealth can be the means to fully live out one's life. Yet, for Prince Salman, it extends to possessing the world's most unique treasures. Get ready to be astounded as we reveal the opulent possessions of Prince Salman from Saudi Arabia. The concept of luxury as you perceive it is about to be transformed. Think a prince who had the fortune to acquire anything his heart desired, and we truly mean anything. Join us on this adventure as we delve into the extraordinary saga of Prince Salman's extravagant way of living. Among the world's elite, few come close to the level of opulence Prince Salman enjoys, including a yacht that's worth more than some country's GDP. Curious to see more? What do a private zoo, world-class paintings, and tech that's straight out of sci-fi have in common? They're all just a day in the life of Prince Salman. Can you guess how much the most expensive piece in Prince Salman's collection is worth? Stick around, because the number might just surprise you. Number 1. Super Yacht Serene Set to embark on an adventure with the Serene, a majestic 450-foot luxury yacht, worthy of royalty this time, a crown prince. Guests indulging in the opulence of deluxe staterooms, relaxing across several swimming pools and jacuzzis, or enjoying a film in a private cinema. This vessel transcends the concept of a mere yacht. It's a sovereign estate at sea, equipped with dual helipads, space for helicopter storage, and a fitness center to burn off any indulgent feasting. And get this, Serene used to be a billionaire's playground, rented out to the likes of Bill Gates for a cool few million per week. But when Bin Salman saw it docked in France, he simply had to have it. He reportedly splashed a whopping $500 million to make it his own. Talk about impulse buying on a whole new level. Could Serene epitomize the pinnacle of extravagant luxury, or is it merely another benefit enjoyed by billionaires? Share your thoughts in the comments section regarding the value of this yacht, and express whether you'd prefer sailing on Serene or wandering through the luxurious chambers of Chateau Louis XIV. Number 2. Luxury Transportation Currently, the affection of the Crown Prince for opulent living goes beyond just ostentatious boats. While specific details about his personal transport remains a closely guarded secret, a few fascinating pieces of information have emerged. It's a known fact that the Saudi Public Investment Fund holds an investment in Uber. However, summoning a ride is hardly in line with his typical preferences. Here's where things get interesting. In 2023, it was revealed that Bin Salman allegedly controlled Sky Prime Aviation, the private jet company linked to the extraction of Jamal Khashoggi's assassins from Turkey in 2018. This not only confirmed his involvement in the controversial case, but also highlighted his access to virtually any mode of transportation he desires. Consider luxurious private planes equipped with the latest technology, helicopters shuttling him from one palace to another, or even uniquely designed submarines for escapes beneath the sea. While these might be mere conjecture, one aspect remains undeniable. The means of transport available to the Crown Prince likely mirror the opulence and complexity of his life itself. So, what do you think? Does the Crown Prince's access to private jets and possible other luxury transport raise ethical concerns? Number 3. Salvatore Mundi by Leonardo da Vinci. The assortment of possessions held by the Crown Prince isn't limited just to luxurious yachts and private airplanes. He's rumored to have acquired the last painting by Leonardo da Vinci known to exist, Salvatore Mundi, for an astonishing amount of 450 million back in 2017. The circumstances surrounding this purchase are enveloped in secrecy. Initially, the identity of the buyer was kept under wraps later it came to light that they were acting on behalf of Bin Salman. 
Adding to the intrigue, the painting's genuineness has sparked much controversy, and since its sale, its location has remained a mystery. Some whispers suggest it hangs aboard the opulent Serene, while others believe it's tucked away in a private vault. This elusive masterpiece fuels questions about transparency, art ownership by the ultra-wealthy, and the ethics of such acquisitions. Did Bin Salman truly acquire a genuine Da Vinci? Is its disappearance deliberate or simply a matter of privacy? And what does this story say about the blurring lines between art, wealth, and power? Number 4. Oil Kings Now we'll change our focus and delve into the narrative of oil, dominance, and the tremendous fortunes that form the essence of this narrative. Do you recall the groundbreaking valuation of $2 trillion for Saudi Aramco, the sovereign oil behemoth? Precisely, it's yet another asset under the control of the crown prince. Aramco holds the title of the world's most valuable and profitable company, and considering the Saudi royal family's estimated $1.4 trillion fortune shared amongst thousands of family members, it's clear they wield immense financial power. However, this affluence is accompanied by its own set of complexities. Skeptics voice concerns regarding disparities, the management of resources, and the moral questions tied to the aggregation of power. Is the prosperity of Aramco genuinely serving the interests of the entire country, or is it merely exacerbating the division between the affluent and the broader population? The Crown Prince's vast wealth, from superyachts to da Vinci's to Aramco's riches, sparks important conversations about governance, responsibility, and the impact of immense wealth on individuals and societies. Number 5. Entertainment Industry The ambition of the Crown Prince isn't just confined to the realms of petroleum and luxury vessels. He is also venturing into the gaming universe with a significant move. Were you aware that his venture into digital game production, EGDC, has virtually taken over the Japanese firm SNK? Indeed, they have nearly complete ownership. This move shouldn't come as a shocker considering Bin Salman's historical interest in the entertainment sector, even going as far as to engage in discussions with technological heavyweights such as Google and Facebook. And here's something more. Saudi Arabia has embarked on a spree of investments within the gaming sector, securing shares in entities like SNK, Activision Blizzard, and Nexon. In essence, they are broadening their grip across the key entities within the international gaming sphere. So, what's the end game? Some see it as a strategic move to diversify the Saudi economy beyond oil. Others raise concerns about cultural influences and potential censorship. Will these acquisitions affect the creative freedom of game developers? What does this mean for the future of gaming and its global landscape? So, let's ponder. Are these Iceland retreats simply the perks of immense wealth, or are there broader questions about resource consumption and responsible travel? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think luxurious private escapes are acceptable, or should there be limitations to such extravagance? Remember, even paradise shouldn't exist in a vacuum, and thoughtful discussion can help us shape a more sustainable and responsible future for all.